Okay, this is uh, a game using the North Sea defense. Uh, I played a simultaneous exhibition game with an international master on the Internet Chess Club, and actually got a draw with him out of this. Now, granted, he was playing 30 people, and I was just playing him, but um, still, it was nice to see I could uh, play a draw. And I've gone through this game and done some analysis, and although the game looks bad for black, there's really no real footing white can get in this game. Um, so this goes along with some of my other lectures on the North Sea defense as an unusual game. And it starts out with the first eight moves being sort of a traditional opening for the North Sea defense. So the setup here, again, is like a like a modern defense, but with knight to f6, white comes in with e5, black plays to h5, and this is the North Sea defense arrangement. This arrangement is often referred to as the Norwegian defense, and occasionally black will play knight to e4 or d5 instead, but... Okay, North Sea defense. Uh, the book move here is for white to play bishop to e2 and take out the knight. d6 takes a knight, retake with the pawn, queen takes, and then black takes um, on e5. White has two options here. One is to take with the queen, in which case black plays g8, attacking g2. White plays to e4 usually to protect g2. Rook to g4, attacking the queen on e4. Bishop intervenes, and then black plays f5, or bishop c5, or knight c6. But uh, if white recaptures as um, the opponent did in this game with the pawn, then you play to d5. But the goal is to play e4, check, and then take the pawn on c two. Now white normally will castle here. White can also play knight c3 here. White castles. Uh, black has a couple options. One is nc6. White plays nf3. White e6 with the goal of castling. Um, white can then stop that with the rook, can stop the castling that is, and then black offers to trade queens. Now notice here that uh, black cannot take the queen on e5 uh, because he would then face checkmate with knight takes c7. So um, rook to c8 is required move. And then from here perhaps white would then trade queens. Uh, so if black doesn't play knight c6, um, there's also rook uh, g8, since the pawn on h7 is protected by the queen on c2. Um, you could continue that way, I'm not sure exactly what uh, would happen next. Let's go back. Alright, so white just castled. Uh, this is the standard book move. Queen to g6, and then white trades like this. And both sides continue with development. However, uh, the international master which is Alex uh, Thunderman, played h4, which is a bit unusual, and it's not in the books I've looked at, uh, although the computer says it's fine. Um, rook g8, queen g3 is all natural. And here it makes sense for black to go ahead and trade queens, and um, leaving each side with a somewhat weird king's pawn setup, or a weird pawn setup on the king's side, I should say. Uh, instead, I went ahead and played uh, knight c6, which is also fine. He then played knight c3. Knight a3 is also fine, with the goal of playing knight to b5 and then to fork on c7. Um, 
Now here I should have traded queens. Instead, I made a mistake, although uh, fortunately he didn't take advantage of it. Although I'm not sure there is a real advantage to take of it either. Um, that's the weird thing about this whole opening, is that things end up being so awkward and clumsy that neither side really seems to be able to get a foothold. Okay, bishop to g7. He wisely played, um, trades queens and then plays knight to d5. He could have also played knight to d5 immediately. King to d8 is, uh, one possibility. The other possibility here was rook to b8. Move the, move the bishop up to protect from the coming uh, revealed check. Now here I should have played knight takes e5, uh, but I didn't notice it. The computer also recommends here that he play rook to c1 instead of playing um, his knight out to g5. That probably makes some sense. So here it looks like uh, by missing the pawn that's hanging on e5, it looks like um, I've really blundered. But again, even though the computer says he's white as a head now, there's nothing he seems to really be able to do with it. Throughout the next few moves, the computer recommends that he stack, try and stack up his rooks on um, the C file, but he doesn't do that. I'm not sure it helps a lot either. Again, here I should have taken on D4, but I'm not sure it matters too much. Now he should play rook E1. Instead, he plays here, which is a mistake. Uh, he's threatening the the rook, but by capturing the knight here, I now have a fork on e2. So let's go back a few moves. Should have played there. But even then, um, e5 ends up being a pretty strong move. then from here it's a pretty drawn game. And in fact eventually we do a few minutes later draw. So not a real exciting game, but still fun to draw against the international master. And goes to show that at least some lines of uh the North Sea defense aren't as bad as perhaps they appear. Thanks.